Hello guys, Mike here with 2 and Scrapping. Um, today I'm going to do part 2 of the gold recovery video. Um, today we're going to be filtering out the solution and getting out the gold that's in there. Um, I, I'm going to put on my gloves so I don't get any acid on my hands. Um, I also recommend wearing some type of goggles or glasses so you don't get a little splashback or something and hits you in the eye or, or something like that. You never know. So I'm going to be using this coffee maker that I found. Um, it's really good for filtering stuff out. You just put the coffee filter in there and then just put it in there like you do with coffee and you just pour it in there slowly and it'll just fill up down here or you can if you don't have a coffee maker you can do it another way you can just get an empty bottle <coughs> and get a funnel like this or any size really and then you get your coffee filter and then we're gonna fold it in half and then half again and then open it up on one side and then throw it in there and you just spread it spread it out until it covers it and then you get a little bit of water you do this with a spray bottle or I have a little I guess mustard thing or you put ketchup in these and you just spread water around there so that the filter sticks to the funnel there we go somewhat somewhat on there and then you would just put it on top of here of the empty bottle and pour it in slowly but I prefer the coffee maker because I don't have to hold it or make sure it doesn't tip over or fall so I'll just put that to the side <coughs> so I'm going to be using this coffee maker here. I don't have to spray water or anything on the filter because they're already pre-molded. So let's get started. Here's the jar that I put the fingers in with the solution. Um, most of the most of the fingers are already dissolved. They're all down here at the bottom. I can't really tilt it over to show y'all. But they're all down here. Let's see if I could no, I'm not going to be able to get it. I'll probably end up spilling it. So we're just going to pour it in here. And then bring it as closer. I'm going to do this as slowly as possible so I don't spill any or splash any around. And step back a little. So you just pour it in there like you were making coffee alright solution's really dark because the metals underneath the gold fingers all dissolved which is mostly copper I'm going to try to get as much as the solution out and the rest I'm going to use my squirt bottle to get the fingers out but I don't want to dilute my solution because you can reuse it this coffee maker filtration system works a lot faster than if you use the funnel. The funnel is a little slower because it's a less radius for the water to fall. And here is a big radius, so you get <clears throat> more filtration quicker. So I'm going to let this. Um, filter all the way through and I'll be back I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you can see see it as it's filtering all right the solution's still filtering out I just brought the cl the camera down a little closer so you can see 
Here, let me try to move it. Whoa. I have to use my camera because I don't have a camcorder. It, it records pretty good though, so. Alright. Still filtering through. Get a little shake to get some of that, some of those gold fingers at the bottom move around because it kind of clogs it. Just give it a little shake. There you go. Okay, while that's filtering, I'm going to move this to the side. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to go through each of the boards here and make sure that all the gold fingers are off of them um, one way the way, I, the way I do it it's probably not the safest way but I mean, it works for me everybody does this their own way you know pick them out one by one what I'm gonna do I'm gonna pour them into this Pan here, this little plastic pan. I'm gonna pour the whole, the whole little glass container out, and then I'm gonna squirt water in here until I get everything out. And as you can see, all the gold fingers are flowing, flowing on top of the water or all over the place. Actually, I'll put some more water in there. Give it a little shake. Try to loosen them up as much as possible. There might be some still stuck in there on the boards. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pour it back into my glass container. That way, when I pick it up, all the most of the gold fingers won't stick to me. And then with the water squirter, I'm just gonna keep. Keep spraying it. See most of the gold fingers are out of this plastic bowl and are now in my jar. I don't know if you can see that. There's it's quite a few in there. And while I did that, my filtration system here is done. So now I'm gonna pour the old the old solution into just a you pour it into any plastic container. I got this tea container here, and you put it in a Coca Cola one. So I'm just gonna grab the solution and then I'm just gonna pour it in here. All right. So that way I don't dilute this solution down. I want to keep it as potent as possible. And get some paper towels. Just paper dust, clean this off. Alright, I'm gonna close this so I don't spill it. If I can find the the lid. Here it is. Alright, so you see there's there's most of the gold down there at the bottom. Right, you see that? Okay. So now we're gonna pour our our jar in there. Let that filter through. And spray these again. Try to get everything out. You just 
just keep spraying them or you pick them up one by one and check them to see if they have any of the gold fingers still on them. Alright, so now I'm going to check each piece. See, this is why I want to, I like getting all the gold out first because then it, it starts sticking to your gloves. When you get stuck to your gloves, you just stick your finger into the filter and just spray some water over it and it'll come right off. I'll try to get all of the gold off the pieces here, but there's there's still a few that have some gold fingers still left on there, like this one here. And just save those for next time. Alright. So most of the boards well, all of the boards are off, so I'm just going to pour this straight into my filter here. And then just spray it with the water. Whoa. That would have been bad if it was full of water and gold fingers. It would have went everywhere. And so you just want to spray around until you kind of get them all into like one little corner here I already poured mine so there's nothing there and there's a little piece in there so you just squirt around with the water and then once they're all down here you just pour it in and squirt it some more and it all goes in there all right so I'm pouring what's left in here oh there's a little okay and let that <clears throat> filter okay just move it around so it can filter faster seems like all the water's out so now we're going to transfer well let me take a filter out and show y'all all the gold that's in there I mean it's not a lot but it's some gold, it's free. And there it is right there. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold this in half and stick it inside our glass container. So that way when we squirt it with the water it doesn't go all over the place. It goes straight into the container. Open it once it's inside we're gonna open it like this okay make sure you don't have anything on your fingers all right we're good and what you're gonna do is you're gonna give it a little squirt all the way around till all the foils are in the glass container and there's none left on the filter As you're doing this, just keep pulling it up slowly. There's one that's. Uh, keep checking it around. Make sure you don't miss any. Okay. Let's see, and our filter should be just blank there's nothing there no more you could save these and you can extract any gold that's left in the filter so you just fold them up to where nothing's gonna get out and squirt the rest of the water in there I have mine inside this little thing it's, it's probably a bad idea to put them in here need one bigger now got quite a few in there already so I'll just add this one to it all right so there's the gold that we got off and those boards the leftover ones that didn't um, release all the fingers these here we're just gonna put them in with our next batch. 
All right, now um, to get the water out of this, you would just put it in a coffee maker or a heating pad, like this one here. You would just sit it on there, turn it on, let it sit until all the water's gone. I mean, they have better heating pads than a coffee maker. They will do that a lot faster. So I'm not going to show you all that step because this coffee maker will probably take a who knows probably an hour two maybe three hours so what I'm gonna do with mine I have I've been collecting this year's batch uh, in this little I guess I uh, container so what I'm gonna do is just pour the rest in here that's in the glass this is the way I save mine. I mean, uh, you can put it, I don't know, in a glass jar. I put mine in a plastic just in case I drop it, it doesn't break. Let's see if you zoom that in. And there's also some smaller pieces of gold in there. I did some pins and I kept shaking it and shaking it, and the gold broke up and lots and lots of small pieces and it was a real pain to filter that out with coffee filters because the gold kept seeping through the filter so I had a triple filter and quadruple filter on um, the solution in order to get it I found a little flake there that I dropped or something. I don't know how that got there. But anywho, um, yeah, this is the way that I do it. <clears throat> um, I'll be making a, a video on how to remove the gold off the pins. I believe I have a little jar, a little, I have some pins here that I'll, I'll do and show you guys. This one's probably going to take a lot longer. There's just a lot more metal. So I'll keep y'all updated on that. Um, and yeah, like I said, just boil this with the coffee maker or a heating pad. And then you'll just have gold flakes. Um, I'll try to make a video on how to refine this as soon as, like I said earlier, as soon as I get the stuff. And then I'll let y'all know. Uh, how to do that process as well so thanks for watching leave a comment like and subscribe I also want to thank all the people that have watched my videos so far um, it really means a lot to me I like doing this for fun so um, keep on watching liking and please leave some comments um, I haven't seen a comment yet so um, please leave a comment there somewhere um, so thanks for watching again uh, I'll see you on the next video